Well, the head of the American Hotel and Lodging Association says half of the hotels in the U.S. could close because of the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. The two biggest hotels in Indianapolis suspended operations more than a month ago. And in college towns across the state, hotels are missing out on one of their biggest money-making times of the year, graduation season. Even as some states begin to loosen stay-at-home restrictions, hotels face numerous challenges that will prevent them from returning to business as usual. The pandemic has caused an 80% drop in hotel bookings nationwide. Visit Bloomington Executive Director Mike McAfee says within a few blocks of the downtown square are about 700 hotel rooms. Normally right now the square down here would be hustle and bustle and all kinds of people out for lunch and, and doing their business activities and, and all the stuff associated with the university. Coined the world's greatest college weekend, Little 500 canceled. Indiana University graduation canceled. Tied to that is a big part of the economy. Visitors spend $400 million a year in Monroe County. The tourism industry employs 6,800 people. Uh, we have one of the most vibrant uh, culinary scenes in the Midwest with all of our restaurants and the, and the, and the local restaurant scene and, and all the independents. McAfee says out of the 2,500 rooms in Bloomington, only about 500 are booked a night on average right now. When we were serving breakfast, uh, we served a buffet style, and so this was our, we called the breakfast room. Mike Fierst owns the Showers in Bed and Breakfast just a couple blocks from Bloomington's downtown square. He had no choice but to close and offer refunds to guests. So we're just kind of waiting to see what, you know, what's going to happen. We've had a, um, a few people have called, uh, sort of booking for August, September, October. He says they're able to keep their employees due to the Paycheck Protection Program. Most of them are busy cleaning while they await guidelines on how to reopen when that time comes. You know, all of our, our food service is going to have to be either uh, at individual tables and staggered. Uh, for breakfast or it's going to have to be delivered to the rooms. We haven't quite decided yet how we're going to do that. He says they'll have to make other modifications such as installing a plexiglass screen at the front check-in desk. But those things are easy, he says, compared to the challenge of convincing people that it's safe to stay at hotels again. In, in order to be successful, you have to plan ahead and there's no planning ahead necessarily other than those things that are obvious in terms of, you know, distance, cleanliness. He says patience is hard with the staff and empty rooms. McAfee says they're all in the same boat. So it'll be working with our partners, all the hotels and attractions and members of the hospitality industry to, to make sure we have uh, our infrastructure set up that we are where we are a safe destination um, where, where visitors will feel confident when they come here and, and have that great experience they always have when they come to the college town that we are.